Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So just recently, there was a video that went viral all over the internet, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. People are still talking about it. It was a video of a police officer in a public place, if you will, a park where children were present, hugging on and kissing on a woman, a civilian, if you will. And I know at first a lot of people were like, okay, well, maybe he's just meeting his girlfriend or his wife or whatever. But then he proceeds to take her. Yes, you're hearing me right. Take her and open the door, the back door to his police cruiser while he's on duty, mind you, I'm assuming, and get into the back seat with her and close the door. Now, we all know what that means. And whenever I first saw the video, I was a little nervous. I'm going to be real honest because this looked like something or looked like something that could have been something completely different if you get my drift. Some people were trying to point it out that she did seem like she willingly wanted to get into the back seat with the guy, the police officer, that she was, you know, kissing him and engaging with him willingly and with consent, but looks can be deceiving. There have been a number of instances where police officers have done very inappropriate things, paid for time, if you will. I'm saying it that way to, you know, not be too graphic if you will. So like I said, it did at first kind of seem a bit triggering, but people were pointing out that this was, you know, two individuals who knew each other and they were doing what they were doing consensually. And then I started to hope to dear God that this woman was at least his wife or his girlfriend. Now, had that been the case, I'd still say they were both raggedy because why would you do this somewhere children are present? Why? You mean to tell me that you're that lacking in self-control and that horny that you couldn't wait until you got somewhere appropriate to do these adult activities? I'm not here for it. And he was even more raggedy because apparently that man was on the clock. Allegedly, he was wearing the full uniform in the company car. Are you serious? You out here, they're paying you to serve and protect. And you're out here clapping cheeks on the clock. That's disrespectful and unprofessional. But the raggediness didn't stop there. So while I was thankful this wasn't, like I said, one of those bad situations that it almost looked like it was at first, to me at least, apparently, allegedly, that woman wasn't his girlfriend or his wife either. Apparently, allegedly, the woman was his whole mistress. Apparently, allegedly, this man is a whole married man with kids. And his wife came out and made a statement and said that she was tired of him cheating on her and that this was no surprise and that he had allegedly been doing this for years now. The guy who was recording him, I guess, said that he did it because, one, it was inappropriate, and two, he felt like, had it been anybody else, if you get my drift, they would have been held accountable, so he should be held accountable, which I can understand that. But at the same time, if I'm not mistaken, it is illegal to record somebody without their knowledge or consent unless your life is in mortal danger. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But anyways, the wife got on and made a statement, basically told the supposed mistress that she could rot in hell. That's what she said. That's not what I said. That's how pissed off she was about it. And like I said, quite frankly, I don't blame her for being mad. Now, I'm not here for you, you know, wishing somebody to, to do that, but... I can understand her being mad and then the alleged mistress allegedly got on to social media and claimed that the wife wasn't telling the full story and then even tried to allege the wife had been cheated on him for some time now. One big hot mess basically. All I know is if it's gonna end up being a rabbit hole like that random man from Atlanta story and that girl Morgan and all them baby mamas and they babies, I don't think I wanna know. Please keep it to yourself. The man got suspended and he need to be praying that he don't lose his job altogether. But anyways, like I said before, this is a hot dumpster fire of a mess. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day.